Haitians are calling it simply the fever. Chikungunya is an illness that causes its victims severe pain for several days and can leave them with chronic swelling of the joints for years more. And in some cases of old and already weakened people, it could be deadly. It's still very early to get a good picture of the situation, but we may attribute some fatalities to the outbreak. Chikungunya fever has been a common illness in Africa and Asia, but since it first appeared on the French island of Saint-Martin last December, the virus has quickly spread across the Caribbean. And because it's been observed in temperate climates, the virus is expected eventually to reach the U.S. With chikungunya, that's another one that's also a mosquito-borne disease that more than likely will be introduced here into the United States and be our next West Nile per se. It's carried by the same mosquito that's also the host for dengue and yellow fever. In Haiti, the disease has disabled so many people that schools have been closed, building projects delayed, and hospitals crippled because of sick medical personnel. There is no cure for chikungunya, but public health authorities are hoping to stem the epidemic by increasing the distribution of mosquito nets, which are hard to afford for the average Haitian. Long term, though, the best response should be treatment of the standing water where the mosquitoes breed. Our biggest challenge now is to destroy all the furrows that surround our houses and everything that can tolerate mosquitoes in order to eliminate the chikungunya. But with the onset of the hurricane season, the conditions are ripe for the virus-bearing mosquitoes to thrive and spread. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera.